Hello again. So, the nurse did inform you that the reason you are back is not due to anything wrong with your testing, correct? What it is, is I think I explained to you um, in your last visit that we are using new equipment. And with new equipment, sometimes it doesn't get the readings that you need or possibly the person using the equipment um, might not have attached it correctly. But we've got some readings on some of your tests that were inaccurate, um, basically almost impossible, so that it's not related to you personally. We just needed to redo some of the testing for you, okay? And also I've got a little bit of a new thing I can try as well that I didn't do the last time you were here, okay? So there's no need in me asking any of the questions again unless nothing has changed related to, um, you know, sense of smell, taste, eyesight, ears, everything working okay. okay. Alright, so again, I do apologize, but I will need to administer some of these tests again. We're also going to try using a different form of gloves thinking that may have had something to do with altering um, the results. Um, but first and foremost, before I begin, I do need to get your vitals again just to make sure we're starting off where we need to be, okay? So just sit still for me. <clears throat> and again, I'm gonna be using a different kind of glove. These are not latex, they're nitrate. So hopefully, the test and not cause any issues like before. Sorry, we're having to redo these tests. I really did not plan on so many of them um, giving an alternate reading. Stop still for me. Yes. 
interesting. The first thing I'm going to put on you is this head device. So, with a little sensors in it. I'm going to be sure to be really careful this time and have it placed correctly. I don't think that was an issue before, but just in case. didn't do on the last one that I'm going to do this time is monitor your breath, your oxygen level as you breathe. That's something that uh, has been added that we need to look at. Um, so I'll just go ahead and administer this first. Uh, I've got a breathing bag here. What I'll need you to do is just breathe into it for me and out as I tell you to. Okay. All right, I want you to take deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Okay, and as you're doing that, it's going to be monitoring you, okay? So, place this right over your mouth. Is that comfortable? Okay. Let's get this thing going. Okay. Okay, breathe in. in, in, and out. Okay, very good. Some more time. your ears again first, okay? Um, before I do that, I'm going to put the cleaning agent on them first so that I can clear out any external wax. So I've just got a little solution that I'm going to put on a simple Q-tip and clean it out of each ear. <clears throat> and that'll remove any excess wax so that I can see deeper in there, okay? So I'm going to start with your left side here. And I'm going to just pull your low.
off. There's nothing to be alarmed about. noise. When you can, just hold your finger up while you're in the book this. Okay. Hold your finger up when you hear a noise. of how long you have to try and keep them open.
right here. Make sure there's no um, tenderness. Okay. You tell me. You tell me if you feel anything. Okay. I'm gonna start with the left side. And I'm just tapping under your eye and above it and on your eyelids. Close your eyes for me. on the eyelids. Good. About underneath. Good. Okay. Very good. Alright, now again the last test is going to be the skin test. Um, I'm going to administer some sensors on you, one on your head and one on your chest. Another good thing about these gloves is I don't have as much trouble separating the sensors because they do get sticky. Alright, sweetie, I'm just going to put this right up here on your hand. monitor, um, I'm going to, I've programmed it just to do a little bit different this time. There's going to be a constant beeping in the background. It's going to be very light, okay, and hopefully that will, um, get a better test result than we did last time, okay. And again, I have this little clicker, and you're going to tell me if you feel it in your head or your chest, and it's just going to be a vibration like before. It's not going to hurt, okay. So let me get it started. change it up and you're going to tell me if you feel fast vibrations or slow ones and where you feel them at, okay? Okay, you ready? Good. Good. test results this week and hopefully they will be the correct results what we were looking for the first time. I hope it wasn't too much trouble to come in here again. That's good. We appreciate you coming by and of course you don't have to pay a copay for this because it's your second visit and it wasn't due to any uh, follow-up. It was more of just a retesting so don't worry about stopping at the nurse's desk and we'll call you with the results next week, okay? <laughs>